This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm LaDawn Davis. Some 80 Bahamians traveled to Panama City, Panama this week to attend the 56th Annual Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions Convention. Chief Executive Officer of the National Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Alfred Poitier, made history as a Bahamian presenter at the convention. He spoke on the topic, the human side of financial services, and giving participants a different view on the importance of membership and how do members perceive credit unions. The convention took place on Sunday at the Rio in Panama. Are you looking to develop and execute your business plan? Well, attorney Mark Turnquest and the Small Business Resource Center will be hosting an entrepreneur in Powership Workshop to assist small and medium-sized businesses with those needs. The special business workshop is designed to give first-time entrepreneurs the tools needed to successfully manage a business. It will also provide business executives with st strategies rather to build the perfect business model and to report on the progress of, of the SME Act, its agency and VAT. The workshop begins tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at the Holy Cross Anglican Church on Soldier Road. And in international business news, the United States Department of Justice is conducting an investigation into a planned merger of American Airlines and the U.S. Airways plan to create one of the largest airlines in the world. In February, U.S. Airways announced plans to merge with American Airlines, which is recovering from bankruptcy to create an $11 billion airline. The deal requires the approval of the Justice and Transportation Departments. Meantime, both companies plan to wrap up negotiations by the end of September. And that's a look at your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm LaDawn Davis. <music>